Hi guys, I'm John. Do you have a mini home server and want to remove SS8? I got an old, dusty, and sticky laptop as my mini home server. I really need this, and don't ask me why it's sticky. In this video, we will talk about these three things. How to enable SSH on a Linux OS. I'm using Lubuntu. Authorize the root user to remove SS while SSH. Demonstrate remote SS while an SSH client. Before you start, don't worry about the following commands. All the commands will list down below in the description. You can also head to my blog post to get it. Link in the description too. Let's head to the laptop and start with the first step. Open the terminal. To update and upgrade the existing packages and deploy dependency on our system, we can use these two commands sudo apps update sudo apps upgrade if any updates are available, you will ask you for permission to update next, we can use this command to install the OpenSSH server package sudo apps install openssh-server after the OpenSSH package had installed, we can use this command to check the OpenSSH service status by default, it will start the service after the installation sudo systemctl status ssh so the highlighted part indicates the ssh service is running now here is the additional step for my currently using Lubuntu OS. It ships with the firewall called UFW. We need to set it to allow the SSH traffic to pass through the firewall. sudo UFW allow SSH. Now you can check the current laptop or computer IP address with this command IPA This IP address will be used later to access this laptop or computer Moving on to the next section, we will enable root user remote access while SSH In best practice, I should use another user instead of the root user and the key-based authentication To be honest, I learned this from the networking class back in college but I have already forgotten how to set it up Also, this laptop runs in the local network environment only so i think enabling the root user login with a password is not that bad still not a good practice back to the command this command will enable the root user to log in while ssh the command is too long so you can get it in the description the root user password is not a mandatory field using the root user to remote access while ssh without a password may encounter the error message permission denied please try again this is the command to assign a password to the root user sudo passwd and you need to type the new password twice to update the root user password the last step is to restart the SSH service to let the changes take effect sudo systemctl restart SSH afterward we can use back the command to check the SSH service status after all the settings, we can use an SSH client to access this laptop. If you are a Windows user, you may need to download an SSH client such as Booty to access the laptop. Mac OS and Linux user can directly use the built-in SSH client. I'm using Mac OS right now. In the terminal, use this command with the username, root, and the IP address. Then enter the password we just set. Okay, I'm in now. Here's are the additional command that can undo the previous step. If you want to stop the SSH service, you can use this command sudo systemctl stop SSH then check the SSH service using this command sudo systemctl status SSH Now we can see the highlighted part shows that the SSH service is down. To disable root user remote access, you can use this command. This command to delete rules for UFW allow SSH traffic sudo UFW delete allow SSH To remove the open SSH server package, you can use this command sudo app remove open SSH server After that, we can use the command sudo apps auto move to remove the dependency packages related to the open SSH server which is no longer required that's all for this video, this is my new series called Learn Vlog. I will share the things I learned recently. I hope my notes video can help you too. If you like my video, please hit the like button. If you don't like it, just hit the dislike button, let me know. Subscribe to get the update for my future video. If you have anything you want to tell me, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Bye bye.